the great I am, the creator, the almighty one. My precious children, many decades and hours I have wept over the iniquity in this land you so frequently call the land of the free and the home of the brave, but it is neither. It is not a land who is free when many are oppressed because they are poor and are educated, unable to attain positions of power because beasts rule over you and you have allowed it. In fact, many applaud these deceitful evil rulers because they encourage the masses to embrace their sins against others and against me, the Holy God, the one true God, the I am that I am. And because you have turned away from me, great judgments will follow for what you have witnessed, allowed and participated in these past years, this last year is like preschool for the demons and entities that desire your complete and utter destruction. Believe me when I say, much greater evil is coming. Heed these warnings and truly repent unto me, or see your destruction with great suffering. For those who say, oh, this is false, my God is a loving God. I am a loving God. I am also a righteous God. And while you have allowed great pollution and wickedness into your pulpits without accountability, I must judge, for you have simply ignored your spiritual responsibility and allowed many others to be tainted by their poisonous lies, heresy. I will not stand for it any longer. Your evil men, the ones you call your spiritual leaders, guides, are wretched men indeed, and they perform wretched acts every Sabbath and throughout the week. Much to my dismay, it is an abomination unto me, the true and living God. How dare you judge me for judging your spiritual decay and inaccuracy, saying that it isn't the Creator, the Father, when you know so little or even next to nothing about my true character. I love in spirit and in truth. When your lying shepherds and false prophets continue to mislead the seekers, how can I not stand in judgment of these frauds? Do I not have a responsibility to expose those who speak lies about my plans and purposes? Do I not love those who are true seekers? Despite that many of you grew up in the church, you know nothing about me but what you hear for 20 or 30 minutes a week in your pew. When was the last time you cracked a Bible? When was the last time you prayed for wisdom? When you never even bothered to seek the answer which awaited you right in my scriptures? You didn't even suspect that the answer was there, awaiting your search to give you direction and understanding. Because you never spend an intimate moment with me, except when you are in trouble or facing a desperate moment. Some even call these prayers your Hail Marys, just because they are not seeking wisdom but only protection. They are, don't let my boss fire me for being late three times this week, or let the questions in this test be easy 
because I instead of studying, I snuck out to see my boyfriend or girlfriend. Do you know how many of these types of selfish prayers I hear a day? Can you imagine what I have to listen to instead of repentant words or sorrow? Father, forgive me for yearning at my daughter when she asked me to spend time with her and I wanted to complain about my husband on the telephone with my sister. I'm sorry I hurt her feelings. I'm sorry I gossiped about my husband. Lord, cleanse my heart. I don't hear many of these types of prayers when I should be. I am is not your puppet. I watch over the prayers of the righteous, but I must turn from the unchanged hearts. Your nation is in tatters. You can see this everywhere you go. Yet, despite the opportunities to stand up to the murderous spirit upon your land, you are just happy you can go back to watching concerts and sports in your arenas. You do not realize you are a frog in a pot and the water that has begun to boil. I am is separating the wheat from the tears. Those who have eyes to see know what time it is. I will not have mercy on the stiff-necked people that choose to do life their way and refuse to bow a knee. I spoke years ago to this wanton Jezebel heart attitude and I saw it even before I sent my son. In vain they worship me. It is even more true today. You worship electronics, homes, cars, titles, clubs, convenience, clothes, sports, gardens, movie stars, entertainers of all sorts. You are so enamored with your stars that you're even letting them into your pulpit. There is a time and place for everything. But you have even turned those few moments when you should be seeking my face and submitting yourselves corporately to me and choose instead to have a comedian or sports hero tell you about their version of the Christian life. It is appalling. The plagues are coming and many of you are still watching dog videos on YouTube. Nero played the fiddle while Rome burnt and you are watching porn on the dark web. You will suddenly realize you have nothing and the world has rejoiced at your fall. The terrors that are coming upon your land have been set in place and are about to be activated. You will never return to normal. Be prepared. First and foremost, repent. If you don't do anything else, I want your soul with me for eternity. And until you get your spiritual house in order, nothing else matters. My kingdom is at hand. I am soon returning to the earth through my son and he will bring forth the righteous. Those believing that they will mysteriously disappear before the judgments come are woefully mistaken. It has been a grand deception by the father of lies. He wants to defeat those who think they can close their eyes and Jesus will make everything perfect again. This is known 
in the psychiatry field as magical thinking. Ayam did not transport the Israelites to the promised land in an instant. They had to follow my steps. They had to choose their attitude and to walk in faith. You can see how often they failed when their eyes returned to worldly things, including worshipping a calf made of gold which they had created with their own hands. They had great impatience in my ways, so they chose instead to be led by the evil one. Know this, my children. You toss me aside at your own demise. You are created in my image. I am is not created in yours. If you dispense with me, you have dispensed with yourself, for you are created to fellowship, worship, and follow after me, because you are a part of me. I allowed free will because I wanted those with a true desire to connect with me not puppets. Troubles are quickly coming. Famine, pestilence, financial collapse, earthquakes, flooding. Drought will continue to escalate and bring great destruction into the lives of many millions throughout the world and here in your homeland. When the day of great poverty seems unending, then you will be overtaken by your enemies, the very ones that you trusted to allow you to become fat and lazy on all your toys and possessions. You are literally possessed by your desires. America, war, is coming to your land. You have waged many wars that you had no business being involved in, but you decided to preserve your lust for goods so that your interests had overridden any sensibility or consideration for those who were impacted. Now, O oh, America, you in the United States, the self-declared diplomacy experts, will be dealt a blow so severe you will never recover. Your wives will experience the full treachery of war, watching their children whom they nursed being brutally murdered and their own bodies bearing the brunt of treachery. Men will be impotent to stop the stunning morass and flagrant evil that comes upon you. Your entire sense of a life worth living will be challenged in every way. Do not think this will be avoided because I will magically remove you. No. The protection you will have will be miraculous, but you will surely see the harvest for the evil your nation has sown. I surely promised that there is seed time and harvest. You do reap what you sow. Now, my children, your spiritual harvest will be rotten. There will be metal that will be worthy of taking from the ground so it may be eaten. They will be fighting for what is available. Prepare for that day 
for it is about to come upon you. Do not hesitate, for this will be the folly of many. I promise you that you will not want to deal with hungry people that have no sense of morality or regard for their fellow man. They will be fighting, combat, and murder for a partial loaf of bread. Imagine the insanity that is to follow when things become even more desperate. Those who live righteous lives stay righteous and you will have what you need. Do not be foolish and step out of my will for it will be your own destruction. Pray with faith, believing that I am the God of impossible. Trust in me and not in the promises of your false prophets. Trust in me and don't follow your friend's advice or your favorite Christian talk show personality unless you are 100% certain that they are indeed interpreting the scripture completely and in totality and are truly led by the Holy Spirit. So many of those I have called have fed into very strange and unusual deceptions. Be watchful, pray and seek me. I love you with an everlasting love. Follow me and you will join me at the wedding feast.